All right, I did a video previously about uh, GPIB, HPIB, whatever you want to call it, IEEE 488. And um, I said I was trying to get up and running with a program. And here's a Python program to control instruments. Now people pointed out, why don't you just use RS-232? And I completely agree. If you have a, a, a Keithley 2400 and you just want to program that one instrument, it's, it, it seems to work really, really good with RS-232. And it seems to be pretty weird with HPIB. But I also have that instrument and I have that instrument and I have that instrument and they're all, and I over here I have uh, that instrument and a couple of instruments over here in the rack. Anyway, I've got a whole bunch of other instruments that are, uh, I've got a uh, counter up there. Uh, these are all uh, uh, HPIB programmable. And so you can actually have them all on one bus. So you only have to have one USB connection to your, to your computer and you can control every single instrument. Everyone has something else on the bus. These days it's usually done over LAN, uh, but I have old instruments and so I'm kind of stuck in the HPIB world. So I wanted to get that up and running. Now, I did do a video once before on me programming the 2400 with, with RS-232 using MATLAB and that worked just great. I wrote an IV, the I-curve programs and everything. Really, really easy to talk to that instrument. Okay, but I'm having problems using Python. So let me show you that. All right, so here we are. I'm using a PyCharm, is that what it is? Um, anyway, so this is my program. Uh, you need to have serial communication because you're talking to the USB bus, which is a serial port eventually. So I'm on COM3, 9600, yada, yada, yada. And um, I'm going to talk to multiple buses, uh, uh, multiple, uh, multiple things. First, I'm going to talk to the interface itself, the ProLogic box. Then I'm going to talk to uh, the 33120. And then I'm going to talk to the Keithley 2400. And then I missed one in there somewhere. I'm going to pass myself. Yeah, here's the talk to the 34401, then talk to the 33120, then talk to the Keithley, okay? And so when I run this, uh, down here at the bottom, you can see what all went on. So uh, let's see, let's back up here. So the first thing it did was it said, ah, you're on COM3. And you're talking to a ProLogix version controller 6.107. Then it talked to the DVM, which is a Hewlett Packard. So the, I did an IDN question mark, came back with Hewlett Packard. I read a voltage. And then I talked to my arbitrary waveform generator and read back data from that and what frequency it was. Um, then I talked to the Keithley. And then the Keithley hiccups. Uh, I don't know. It's giving me these weird control characters, and then it then it, it tries to do it again, and it, it it gives back a zero. And then I'm actually able to read it. So this is actual uh, Keithley data. Uh, so it did do that. And then I take that string and I parse it into separate numbers. So this is an ASCII string, and then I parsed it into the various various numbers. So. My program is working, except that Keithley keeps hiccuping. And I, I don't know why. I, I seem to be fighting two things. I seem to be fighting the ProLogic box, first of all. And I seem to be fighting the Keithley, fighting both. So yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and post this code. And if anybody can give me maybe some words of wisdom, what, what the heck I'm doing wrong. It, it seems, my, my programming seems to work great with Hewlett Packard instruments. But for whatever reason, that Keithley status, I don't know if it's end of, end of I, you know, the EOI line not being asserted correctly, or the carriage return line feed, or it doesn't like to be read if it has no, I don't know, it's really weird. And then the ProLogic box seems to be very finicky about every time you do a write, you need to do a read. So, uh, I don't know. It just, everything seems to be very, very finicky on this thing. Um, I've got some ideas of what to do in the future, but uh, yeah, if you want to take a look at this, here it is. And like I said, it does it does sort of seem to it does seem to sort of work. Uh, it is giving me, but also if you notice um, down here in the in the window, if you notice, there's some extra characters at the front of the string. So the Hewlett Packard has a an extra character, a null character, I think, and then the uh, Keithley also gives a null character. So I think those are 
problems with the with the ProLogic box, you can strip them out if you if you know they're going to be there. And I have some code in here to strip things off sometimes. But yeah, it's just a pain in the butt. Uh, I don't know. It just doesn't. It just isn't seamless. Now, there are other controllers. Uh, National makes one, and Hewlett Packard makes one, and they're Keysight these days. Um, and they do have Visa drivers, and maybe the Visa drivers make everything seamless now. I don't know. Maybe I'll try to try that in the future. But right now, this thing is just uh, just a little bit flaky.